This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my very interesting co anchors with me, um, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Oshunke. What's up? Hello. How you doing? I'm great, you? You well, have your mischievous look on. No, I'm not being <laughs> mischievous. How are you, Ife? I'm well. I'm mm -hmm. okay. How's okay. your day been? What have you been up to? Working. Okay. And you? What have you been up to, darling? Dwayne Johnson and Scarlett Johnson. That's what you've been up to. Scarlett <laughs> Johnson. <laughs> Dwayne Johnson and Scarlett Johnson have been named Forbes High Speed Actor and Actress. Um, the former WWE World Champion earned $89.4 million before taxes, while Scarlett um, was paid $56 million. However, the list became an expose of some sort on the ongoing gender pay gap mm. hot topic. When added up um, cumulatively, the top 10 actors nearly doubled the pay of their female counterparts as they earned nearly $600 million. Um, the top the top ten actresses made a total of three hundred and fifteen million dollars. The data for the list summarized the on screen and off screen earnings between January first, twenty eighteen, and Jan June first, twenty nineteen. Mm. Okay. I think um, it's no news that there's this um, gender pay gap even in the... Okay, so let me focus on Nigeria right now. I think um, every actor or, or actress that has been on this show, we always ask them, and one way or the other, they no, always... I, they don't agree. Yeah, that's a one way or the other, they always but try the thing to... Is, why it's difficult for me to bring this conversation back to Nigeria is that we are not very open with anything. Mm. So how much do you get paid for a... A, an episode or whatever no, it's but called. I think it's, it becomes like a secret court and mm. no, don't say it. So we can't even have a list like this to tell you how much a Genevieve earned in 2019 or how much an Omoni Bully made in 2019. We, we do I not have I think in Nigeria, it it's the other way around. Like, there's a gender pay gap, mm -hmm. but it seems the ladies are getting paid more than the guys mm. from how they... No, people say that lifestyle. because of their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. The ladies are the what ones building houses. The ladies are the ones buying cars. I'm very they're... sure that they're not building houses from acting, though. I can tell you that for yeah, free. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, I can. I know. We I'm did, not to say like we did. We did a report stuff, on gender yeah. pay gap, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So which is what I'm saying. It's difficult to even fight for them or talk about it because they are not open. We are not very open in this part of the world. Even um, except the businessmen that are already on the four list. Aside from that, you can't say this is how this person moved from point A to point B mm. and end this. And it's by the grace this and of God. This. You know, we do not. <laughs> but when you say they're not getting it from acting, where else do you think they get? I mean, oh, they are business they have, people. They have yeah. side hustles and um, legit ones. Like I'm not even trying to shade anyone and okay. say like mm -hmm. like legit ones. Because people, people just assume they're into real estate, real estate, fashion sales, yeah, their sales, a things, things yeah. a lot of a lot of stuff. So um, the leverage and their influence. But to yeah, going businesses. back to Scarlett Johansson and oh, and doing. Um, and Hollywood and mm -hmm. all that stuff, it is evident that there is gender inequality and it has been a topic that has been going for a very long time. And it's not just the entertainment industry, it cuts across the whole, I would like to say the whole globe. Um, like feminists who say that um, gender uh, poverty is sexist in the sense that mo most people who are poor globally are women. And that's just because of the inequality and the mm. imbalance in terms of pay. And it's quite unfortunate, I, I think, from that list, you can derive a, a lot of topics. You can derive um, gender inequality, the pay gap. You can even derive um, um, racism. There's only one black person on the list for both men and mm -hmm. and, and women. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, there needs to be more diversity and there needs to be more inclusion and equality as well. Um, 2020, and I'm hoping that it will happen in my lifetime for mm -hmm. us to be able to get to that process where we're seeing all that growth. Okay, you want to add something else? Um, like she said, I just, like I, I also noticed um the racism beats like why why are there just two black people mm -hmm. do you understand both male and female and the rest of them were white so are we paying more white people are we paying them according to their skin color now who's it's, the second black person I, that i said between oh, both okay. male and across both genders so two black people yeah and who's the second person who's the second black person no, there's a black man and a black woman. Well, yeah, who who is black woman? I can't remember, I can't remember her name. But I, I didn't see any woman. black woman. There's no black woman. Okay, just um, there's just a Will woman. Smith. Except you want to post that Dwayne Johnson to be black. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of. Yeah, mixed. but for women there was. There, there was, was no black person. 
But even one thing I also saw, I was trying to read extensively, and I realized that even for the women to make this amount of money, yeah. they had to go into productions yeah. to be able to give jobs to their own kind and create some multiple sub, um, stream of income for themselves because they really want to be able to say we end the same thing when we are on this list. So, but it, then again, one needs to look way deep and understand if those people were just earning this amount of money from just acting yeah. or they had other things as well they were doing in terms of production and the likes. Well, know. from what I understood with the list, it's really about the movie that you're in, okay. more so than the number of movies that you're in. Hmm. So it was the same thing with, we, we had a list come out in Nigeria, so I, was, I wasn't very certain about the first argument you guys brought up because there was a list of gross like top grossing actors and and movies of the year that came out that's top grossing movies yeah but also actors there was an actors list well yes and there was actors list because i remember we had, we had a conversation and it was a, a, not even actor and actress but actors as in like the noun mm -hmm. and most of them were male and it's the, the reason why they were on that list was based on the movie that they were in and that's how this works too and so if, if, we, you're, if we look at those people it's probably rmd ramsey noir the people that have been there uh, yeah the um, well there were still a few people like Ike Chuko made that list and he made the list because of the movie he was in um I don't know anything about nigerian movies i think it's king of boys or Ike Chuko made top 10 yes and then in Nollywood, yes. <laughs> How many movies? As Ikechuku, as that's what that's the that's what I'm saying. What movie? That the way, was Ikechuku, which Ikechuku was wedding party just, one and two. Wedding party one and that's two, what I'm saying. All. The way the way Grossin works is, isn't about how many movies you're in. It is about how much you make from a movie. So it could be in ten poorly um, earned movies. Like yeah, 20, but you 000, just said 20... that it's about how many movies you're no, in. No, it's about the movie that you're in and how much progress it makes. Like Scarlett Johansson. I don't see her in that many movies, but the movies that she has been in has Avengers. made m millions. That, which you, puts you know, her on you top. know that is not how um, it works here. Over there, they pay them. Um, it's not like an outright payment. So you and you know have all of this while he's still in the cinema. Right here, they pay you outright. Mm. So and you know, if you're on set and you're being paid one million naira for that. Um, whatever, whatever you're doing, that's what you get. Whether the movie showing, so that's another conversation that they're trying to progress down here. Like, why is our contract this way? Because, because the, the list that I saw, yeah. it was based on the movie that they were they were in. I literally, because I remember seeing Ike Chuk and I was like, Ike Chuk. I've actually never seen him on sets before. Mm -hmm. But when I saw that, they mentioned the name of the movie that he was gross. He gross. He made that gross million from. Banky W was also on that list as well. Mm -hmm. So it's not because they were in many many movies. It was because of the movies that they were in. That's just what I know. And all of this is without tax. So by the time they include tax, the money will be less. Like I said, it's difficult <laughs> to talk when it comes to Nigeria because, I mean, that's th those names you're calling now. And, I mean, even if you're looking at... Well, I think we need to go back to understand if this is about how much you made or you were paid for the movie or how much the movie itself you were in made because there is a big difference when you're looking at it from that angle well, you know, maybe maybe the system has changed and they're not paying them out rightly anymore because um i can remember um who was that lady uh matt Damot, right mm -hmm. that said um people were asking for the link to a movie and she was like don't you want me to make money that mm -hmm. don't you she said she said she spoke in general don't you want the owner of the movie to make money we need to make money for this and blah, blah, blah. that was what she said it wasn't no, about I, I, her I own believe, yeah, I so believe the, the system who, would have changed like the no, more money they make in the box this office was in january which is why we need to get the um, president of Actors Guild for a one-on-one. -on -one. He, um, Gideon Okeke, came out to rant about this, and he was saying very few people in the industry insist on that in their contracts, and most times they don't honor it because they feel like, I mean, they if you can't do it, somebody can't else, you know, you. and that was also the reason uh, Motola had the event she had in, in to December. To be honest with you, they want the Yeah, the you one know? I know of, in terms, because I know I told you I worked with um, the movies, that's how I heard it was done as well. You pay the person before it even like mm. gets released and so you don't you don't know anything about how it's going to turn out. When I plays in China tomorrow, but that gross or whatever. List, it was Film House that brought it out on, on Instagram. You can check it out. Um, that's how they that's how they um, were able we, to. Yeah, well, we'll have to check that out. <clears throat> All right, moving on to the next story. Black China provides evidence against Rob Kardashian's um, battery lawsuits. Um, through her lawyer, she has asked the courts to dismiss the 2017 battery lawsuit brought against her by her ex boyfriend. Um, says China has submitted evidence to the court proving that she never committed assault and battery against Rob and that his case should be thrown out of court. Rob accused the mother of his three-year-old daughter of attempting to 
strangled him with a cell phone cord as well as repeatedly striking him in the head and face, causing neck injuries and other wounds. He also claimed she destroyed property in a house they rented from his half-sister, Kylie Jenner. Jenner is also a co-plaintiff in the case over the alleged damage at her rental property. Mm, it's not... It's funny because I want to see um, what evidence she has against Same. Rob. I just that's all I'm looking forward to. But um, I wouldn't say who's guilty. I wouldn't say um, Rob is lying. I wouldn't say um, Black China is lying because um, Black China has this violent um, demeanor that we all know about already. No, yes, even when she came to Nigeria, she fought. <laughs> so, so, sis, there's nothing you can tell me. You can say, oh, you don't know how that works. We also are in Nigeria. I just want to be careful with how you, um, especially with the black women in um, in the American culture, not African Americans, not black Americans. It's always just that thing. stereotype. This is because black China there, thing. It's, it's a difference between, like, you know, like, rat, being ratchet and being ghetto to tying a cord around somebody's neck and hitting it a million times. So it's either, like you said, I want to know what the... Um, evidence. evidence is because it means that it either means Rob is a very good storyteller and can fake his own injury or there is literally a camera showing the time and place mm. and that she didn't actually touch this man but either ways and I know that that's not the only thing that's again that she is um, being charged yeah. against this property um, the um, van danger. yeah vandalizing and all and, that um, stuff and Kylie is also a plaintiff in this case yeah because well. it was her property mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of stuff that's going against her I know this um, past couple of years and I don't know if it's because of the the trial that she's going through but she's really toned it down mm -hmm. even down to the dressing and the hairstyle and the Black you know China? yeah um, more suits and stuff um, so I'm just hoping that you know. Forget the dressing. What about when Rob came out just a few weeks ago to say that um, he Fancy wants custody, custody of their of dream? That um, whenever he comes, she's looking on camp and um, she's always um, what's it called? Now? Um, well, <laughs> um, uh, what's it called now? Um, 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 who was for who? Dream or sexual position? Yeah, she's twerking. Always showing, like now. <laughs> she's always showing exhibiting sexual positions and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and um, and that she and uses she drugs, uses and, drugs and she spends over and a close source says she spends about six hundred dollars on alcohol daily. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Yes, we'll it's see, all we'll there. <laughs> <laughs> I think and it was she can drink, or something. She can drink sure. a whole bottle of, okay, I can call the brand, and she, but she can drink a whole bottle of a drink that we all know is really, really strong. Like, even if you take two if shots. Are you adding sauce to this? <laughs> like, no, 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 it's all there. I don't know if you guys saw it. Like, she can drink a whole bottle by somebody, herself. As far as I'm concerned, I, I need somebody else to talk about both of them. Mm. When it comes to lovers, especially ex lovers, they are like demons mm. in front of each other. He will like raise his hand like he rose his hand and tore it down and broke like they exaggerate each other's things until somebody else can tell me that she's a bad mother sure and if somebody else can say that she is really oh crazy. i think this was backed up by one of um rob's sister because they say each time rob's sister yeah each like time, no, no, each time they cannot stand they, black China. each time they come to drop um, of the child i think the dream spends weekend with rob right and then weekdays with the mother that she's mm. usually looking very unkept and all i don't know what unkept means thank you when you're talking about <laughs> <The Kardashians. laughs> anyway it's time for a quick break but when we return ima ugoli and etc speaks on tribalism in entertainment industry we'll be right back <laughs> Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide that every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Right oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. You. Mm. Akpala music is for mature-minded people. Like I got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, what? Sleeping early. Sleeping early.
Welcome back. This is COT Time on Plus TV Africa. We all know the entertainment industry is now soaked in tribalism, and this is coming from ex, ex is it et cetera, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> As a response um, to Ima Ugoli, um, he was asking why most top artists are from the Southwest. So the questions he raised in his um, caption on Instagram uh, started from is it is it a coincidence that the top 10 or maybe top 15 music acts are from the southwest secondly um or is there more to it why is eriga not a hip-hop household name in lagos and then was rap music from the middle belt and north produced only from the era of swatch roots and did it and did it end with mi and ice prince mm -hmm. he also asked if um, the media still show the same unbiased love that he used to. And then he said, do music awards go to the North non Lagos acts? Is Nigeria still represented in sound, language, and melody of mainstream music? Mm. Etc. And um, what do you call him, Ogoli? Ima Ogoli. Ogoli. Just they, call him Ima. Ima. <laughs> they should, I, I don't like that name, Ima. <laughs> Sounds like I was boy or gigs, man. Ah. <laughs> okay, on 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 a more serious note, they need to get off their feelings, yeah, because I you think. You know that Emma is Emmanuel. Yeah, I know. You like know Emmanuel call Jesus Emmanuel name. Emmanuel. That Emma thing. If I ever, I won't. By the way, if I ever name my child Emmanuel and you call my child Emma, we'll get into a lot of trouble. You get it, so. Just make your point different. Yeah, that's. That's just my preference <laughs> on the whole Ima thing. So moving on, yeah, I think these guys are just in their feelings because um, it has always been standard that the people from the Southwest have a united front. Mm? Has always been standard. Yeah, it has been there. It has okay. been from the from the from the from from the onsets. Even when it comes to education, when it comes to this, you have people paying fees. You have it has always been a united front from the onset. So to, talking about say, oh, why is everybody from the southwest? I think that's because we try There's to no united front in the east. Who oh, don't, sister? I know you are from the East. Just no, 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 come. I'm, 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 I'm coming to you. I'm asking a very fair question. I'm, so I'm you think there's no United no, Front in the East? Wait, now I'm get, can I land there? Maybe you, maybe by the time I land. Take off after you, you land. Uh, land. Mm? So you can take off after yeah, you Yeah, so maybe when I land, maybe I would have even answered your question. But you've affected my train of thought, so I may never get to your answer. I didn't but, your train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> there was no train of There was no train Back to what I was saying. Um, first, was it blaze that was called out a few weeks ago mm -hmm. by one Igbo rapper mm -hmm. that look um, I think he had Fino he had Zoro no he had Fino he had one of the um, Igbo prominent artists with him and then one upcoming artist said that boss learned from the likes of Olamide and the Yoruba artists that help each other who have you ever helped and he replied I don't I think we're supposed to talk about that story or did I just see it on my own and he replied saying don't come with such um, stupid comments on my page blah 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 but for your evil brother to actually think that you guys are not doing anything to help do you know how many artists Olami they are signed do you know how many artists David and how many helped? of them are not Yoruba huh? and how many of them are not Yoruba it's not about that. That's, that's what, what, that's what I'm saying is about. about. That is exactly what I'm it saying. It is tribalism. That is exact. No, we have established Eastern rappers, right? We have the likes of Fino. How many people has Fino said, okay, let me help this Igbo guy's career? They're not very if good. If what you're talking about is encouraging tribalism, that it takes an Igbo man to sign up an Igbo man. A Yoruba man must sign up for a Yoruba man. So if a Yoruba man doesn't no, sign up no, no, a Yoruba man, don't take me out of does, context. That's exactly what you're saying. That's not what I am okay, saying. Okay, so what are you saying, Ife, that <sighs> if, um, Fino should sign his own people? What I am, no, I'm not saying Fino should sign his own people. I'm saying that, look, at the end of the day, if the Yoruba people are doing this for their brothers, then do it for yours as well. That's exactly what Re I should be Relax. Can I, don't you interrupt are the same me. Thing, actually. Like, yes, that's exactly what you're because saying. Because if we're going, I mean, I, I'm, I, I wasn't going to tow this line, but since we're towing that line already, we have done Jazzy. Mm. And the science people exactly every part. exactly uh -huh. as long as your talent exactly works, I mean he's worked with Ricardo Ricardo is a Yoruba boy Rema Johnny Drew is, is Edo. from Edo State mm. okay Rema is also from Edo mm. right yeah. Doctor Sid is from where Edo. DJ is, is from, from the north DJ is from the north so um I don't know if I really want to agree with the idea of tribalism in the entertainment industry it oh, might be please. there. Right, I'm not saying what I'm oh, saying please. is There's completely. No tribalism. Don't, that, don't let, let me us finish even, now. Don't let us even bring that in. I don't know if it's there, but for me, from my own angle, from my own perspective, I don't believe it is there. I feel like 
we need to begin to understand that as an artist, you are not going to, uh, not all artists will ever become mainstream. So you have a Jay-Z that is worldwide. You have a Beyonce that is worldwide. Before Demi Lovato became a worldwide brand, she has been doing a lot of small gigs and she was big in her space and in her own region. You can own the East and be big. Maybe the only question I really saw that he, he raised that I would want to say, okay, let's look at it is the award people because we have awards and you claim this is for Nigeria, not Southwest, not um, Lagos, not uh, the hub of entertainment. You said it's Nigeria. So maybe it is your responsibility to create um, categories that would serve as a body to encourage every artist and every, from every part of the country. So you actually have people that are doing big things in the north. There are artists that you go to in the north and they call their names and you don't even know that they exist. But over there, they are like the kings. They but are, in terms of know, in terms of exporting Nigerian music outside, it's Lagos that does that, and Lagos only promotes. You, as yes, as, of course. Me, as far as I'm course. concerned, Lagos which is why Fino had to come all the way down Tonight, there. Exactly. And Fino also and, had a hand in the in the in the in the in the career of Zoro. Yeah. Right. And aside that. Fino and Olami, they work hand in hand. Even while working on this, his um, um, album, the album that I don't particularly or somebody <laughs> like, I saw that he used some lines, some Igbo lines in his rap. So yeah. if you're well, something I, called, I you're, there's I, a I part think where he said, a little bit of a like uh, and, rock and, 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 and I knew me, that he had to have me, someone like his Fino you in asked the studio me to how make it work. How many non Yorubas that Olamide signed? Olamide is an indigenous rapper. It doesn't only, matter. It's only, no, it's only right that he wants to if sign that, other people. If no, wait, 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 wait. wait. There's, a, there's, a there's, a, there's a genre. There's a particular style Olamide uh, is trying to. Jazzy doesn't have his own genre. Wait, now, there's a particular. Relax. There's a particular style Olamide is trying to promote. What is the um, indigenous rapper? That's rap about his own. Person as an artist, not about and the record label. signing all the people because those people do not even have the opportunity it's, it's to be Fire represented Boy in the indigenous stuff. It's Fireboy. Fireboy does a lot of um, what's it called, Yoruba mm, mixes yeah. song. Mm. Have you listened to the old Fireboy? I'm if not I, talking about this said, new Fireboy. Which you, new Fireboy? Listen to? All we know is this, this the album that we know. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and I am telling you as a music head that if you know Fireboy oh, you know from way back, from way back, you don't really care about way back. I'm telling you, Fireboy that we know now. Yeah, but but come on, man. You tell me, family, and that's indigenous rap. What I know, what you I know, is the same indigenous language. I think language. that this person has a point. From someone who's not really in the music scene, anything that trans. I lived my adult life abroad. Mm -hmm. Most of the sound that comes out is Yoruba, and that's facts. It's Yoruba. I can count how many songs that don't have Yoruba lyrics in it. I've, I've noticed it. Even the Igbo I've ones are now because beginning because to sing Because the thing Yoruba. is, I'm, I'm half. I'm, my father's Igbo, my mother's Yoruba. So I always try to look for a representation of everything, mm -hmm. and I don't find it. It's clear. If, you're not, if you are Yoruba, you might not see that, it, you're, you're, uh, that there is a lack because you are being fed what you want. But mm -hmm. for other people, I think there's an absolute, um, what's it called, imbalance in terms of representation. John Jazzy is the only war. person that I know that... Um, tries, ev like you can see, it's almost like deliberate, like he's thinking about it to keep that balance mm -hmm. afloat. And he's an evil David man. David Perizzi, an e Perizzi is not Yoruba. With a, mm, relax. I don't think Draymo is Yoruba Perizzi either. Perizzi is not signed But Perizzi idea. speaks, um, Yor sings Yoruba lyrics. And that's what I'm saying. And that's that. what I was wondering. Okay, so who is well, to blame that, that to... even this Eastern people and this Northerners are now trying to sing in Yoruba? Because they're trying to survive. The, the only thing that it's not thrives the market. is... The market's dictates yes. It's not the market. The market at the, dictates at the, at the end of the day, who are the people supporting their brand? Why are the Igbo indigenous people not carrying on the Igbo indigenous rappers along and trying to help and their another career? Another thing about this conversation But why would that you say Igbo bliss is not helping anyone or has not helped anyone? So, let's, let's I didn't say that. I said someone Said. And you agree you are bringing up a Why? Uh, why is he not? That's what no, you, no, you, you got, to do. No, no. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to drop it because everything I say, you guys are trying to take it out of context. Now, I get where you, you're coming from because you're mixed and you are from the East. But don't let us make it a tribal thing. I'm actually the issue is a tribal thing. This mm -hmm. conversation is about tribalism. Okay, all right, all right, cool. Help um, people. <laughs> okay, we'll probably have to continue this conversation in another episode, but that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching, and remember you can catch up on this conversation by visiting our YouTube channel, our Plus TV Africa, and also please do remember to subscribe. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, will go to my co-anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Olu Okay, they make things spicy. <laughs> and the entire production team, thank you so much for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay with us. Thank you.